Today I will show you how I did my version of Mad Max photo manipulation. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun photo manipulation tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's start making this really cool Mad Max type photo manipulation. Alright guys, welcome to my Photoshop world. Today we will start with this cool background of a desert and two jeeps racing or whatever they are doing and actually we will delete those jeeps because I don't need them. So let's first do that. Let's just use the lasso tool and just trace around the jeep. Go to... Let's go shift backspace and go with content aware fill. And that's it. That's all that I needed to do. I can do the same for this guy, but actually this guy will not be visible because we will put some things over it, but let's just do it for fun. Shift backspace and we don't have jeeps. Welcome to my Photoshop world. We will start with this cool background of empty desert. That's really cool. Okay, the next image that we will put inside here is the photo of this cool monocycle that actually I made it in Cinema 4D. So it took me a few hours to model this and to add some textures and then render it out. And if you want to learn how to model in Cinema 4D or any other 3D software, how to model in a 3D and make some cool things, I have perfect things thing for you because the sponsor for today's episode is Skillshare. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. And uh, they're a really cool place to learn some new skills and to improve your current skills. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on photo editing, video editing, uh, video effects like After Effects, even 3D or something completely different like maybe cooking, etc. With so much to explore, real projects to create and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. They're offering classes designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can learn and grow with short classes that fit your busy routine. And because they're sponsoring this video, they're giving you guys two months completely free premium account there. So that means that you will gain access to all the content on the website and you can watch any video tutorial that you like. All you need to do is to click on the link down there in the description join Skillshare and enjoy all the content there. And also they are pretty affordable. The annual plan is less than $10 per month. So after your two, three months expired, you can just continue with the subscription. Or if you don't like it, you can just cancel it. No questions asked. But take this opportunity, join Skillshare and enjoy all the content there. Gain some new skills, learn something new and be creative. Right now, let's go back to Photoshop. As I already said, I made this monocycle in Cinema 4D, so we'll just copy it and paste it back to our scene, and this is where I want it to be. Okay, let's name these layers. This is background. This is monocycle. And also, we need a model. We need somebody to drive this monocycle. So, this is my friend Nina and she wanted to be a model for this scene so I took a photo of her uh, in the studio and this is myself waving with this uh, thing to make some kind of wind and as you can see we climbed the scarf to this stand just to make impression that wind is really blowing. Okay, so I already extract her out to the background regular procedure, quick selection tool, refining gadgets, etc. In case you don't know how to select anything in Photoshop, you can go and watch my tutorial about that on the link right here. Okay, I will just copy this layer, go back and paste it right here. And as you can see, she's a little bit bigger. We need to make her smaller. So this is model, Nina. Okay, and I will go and put this layer into smart object because now I have freedom to make her smaller or bigger without losing the quality of the image. So I will go with Control or Command T, make her smaller and she is really small right now. Or maybe even smaller. <laughs> All right. So I need to make her big enough. So let's try with this. This uh, foot needs to be on this part right there. So I will lower the opacity and make her bigger, even bigger like that. 
the wheel needs to be here so somewhere somewhere here let's see the foot foot is okay it's there everything is pretty cool I just lower the best a little bit more yeah everything is pretty cool right now so i'll press enter and that's it so this is pretty nice but you know what we need to erase part of her body that is actually from the other side of a monocycle so that's pretty easy because i already have monocycle extracted on its own background on its yeah, own layer i just need to create a layer mask on the model click hold control or command key click on the layer to load the selection and just go with regular brush and with black color 100 percent opacity and just erase things right here okay I just want to erase these things and this is it as you can see now we need to refine some things here so first let's go with the foot right there I want to erase I want to erase these things because I want to make impression that she's actually standing on this part of the Monocycle, so this is cool. Let's erase this, refine this edge a bit. Okay, so give me just a few moments. I don't like this. All right, this is pretty good. And we are missing the other part of the foot right here. It's not visible, maybe it won't be visible. This is cool. We can go with that, but I already took a photo of her foot, so I can just go and try adding this adding this to the photo okay i will just copy it and go back to the scene and make it smaller and rotate it something like could be probably something like somewhere let me see maybe even something like this strange position of the leg so okay and uh, create a layer mask and this looks pretty cool guys so we have her foot right there also i can uh, unlink the this uh, link between the layer and the mask so i can freely move the layer without affecting the mask so maybe i just want her leg to be even less visible like like this yeah and then i will Go and refine mask a little bit more. And this is much better. All right. So I will, this is foot. Okay. And I will group this, press control or command G and name it model. Okay. So now what we need to do is to deal with the hair. I already extracted it, but you can see white. I don't know white line around uh, the hair so this is an easy fix what we need to do is to go to the model create a new layer clip it to affect only the model this is hair fix okay and uh, I will just go with the brush press ultra option key to sample the hair color and just really paint over it nothing special so as you can see I will just paint over the hair let's use soft brush and you can see how cool it is more dense in the hair. Also right here, I will do the same, but maybe with 30% opacity and slowly build it up. This is pretty good. And those hairs right here. And maybe right there, why not? The next step is to add a shadow of the model on the shadow here on a monocycle on the floor, on the ground. And that's a little bit tricky because we need actually to draw it manually because we don't have a silhouette of a model from the side. I forgot to take a photo of that, but I wanted, but I forgot it. So now we need to find some other way. I will do that in a little bit more quick way and use the silhouette of the model like it is. And I will show you, I'll transform it a little bit and draw some new lines and this is it. This is not a perfect way to do it, but it's okay to trick the viewer's eyes that the shadow is there on the floor. So how I will do it? I will go to the model, control, click on it to load the selection of the model, go back to the monocycle down below and create models shadow. 
and I will choose a color so probably I'll choose something like this maybe a bit darker for the color and we can always change it and just fill it alt and backspace to fill with that color and deselect and I have this right control or command T I will rotate it like this right click and flip vertical so this is something that I need but it's not good also I need to squeeze it a little bit down and to stretch it a little bit up because you can see the shadow of this monocycle is a little bit stretched okay so this is cool and maybe rotate it a bit here and this is pretty decent right now what I need to do is to lower the opacity a bit and now maybe make it darker I will go with curves control or command M and just just make it darker also I can go with the hue and saturation control or command U and lower this the saturation so to match like it's there play with the hue play with the lightness a little bit this is pretty cool okay now to match everything to have impression like it's one shadow we need to raise the parts from that are overlapping with the shadow of the monocycle and before we do that I just want to extract the shadow of the monocycle on its own layer I will use a pen tool for that and control command enter and just go on the monocycle press shift control J or shift command J on a Mac and I have the monocycle shadow M shadow on its separate layer as you can see this is pretty cool and I will just nudge it a little bit to cover this gap that was here you can see this small gap so I'll just nudge it with the arrows and this is it okay now I will go and uh, play with these two things so I will go to the model shadow create a layer mask load the selection of this shadow and just erase like I did with the model erase where they where they are overlapping okay like that and that's pretty cool and now we have other gaps to fill here so let me see if I lower the past a little bit more to match the brightness of the original shadow I like it now I will select both of them press control or command E to merge them together and this is just this is just shadow okay just shadow and now I will go with the clone stamp tool and 100% opacity I want salt brush that's perfect okay I didn't sample anything press and hold alt sample here parts and just fill those gaps with the clone stamp tool this is pre pretty cool way to to do this alrighty guys so this is it it was really fast and it wasn't it this shadow is not perfect it needs to be even more uh, I don't know how to say thinner here and but it's pretty okay for for this kind of job to, to I don't know to do the trick for the viewers eyes okay so now what I like to do I will use eraser tool and just erase this plane here from this side I don't think it would be visible and maybe this I need softer brush so something like that is pretty cool and then I will go with the smudge tool and just make this part a little bit more blurry I did this guys in a lot of my previous tutorials so I will not explain everything here because I did so many photo manipulation tutorials and I covered so many tips tricks and techniques how to do things really nicely and properly so I'm just applying the techniques here and if you don't know how go and watch my previous photo manipulation tutorials and you will know why I'm doing this how I'm doing this and uh, all other cool tricks about this okay so this is pretty cool and now we can go and continue with adding few more things now we need to add some smoke some dust from the ground we need to add some debris there we need to add some dirt on her face and the arms and on motorcycle and also the shadow here under 
uh, on, the, on the seat here under her butt and uh, also maybe to add a few helicopters and do a final color grading and that's it. So many things in this such a simple example but it's really cool so let's do it let's first let's first go and add the shadow on the seat right here so this is a model i will go right there create a layer name shadow and this is pretty easy thing to do just a regular brush a little bit harder brush let's go with some darker color and as you can see this is it this is practically it we need a shadow right there. Okay, so we covered that part. Now let's go and do some smoke. First, let's group everything, name this monocycle. This is model. So I will go right here and add some smoke slash dust on the ground. And to do that, I will use my custom made cloud smoke dust brush that I created, I don't know, a long, long time ago. I have a dedicated tutorial on that. You can watch it on the link right here, or you can go to my website. The link is down there in the description and just purchase this set of brushes for just $1. It's your choice. So I will go right click and go, this is my five brushes. I will go right here, choose this one. And I will choose some colors. So I will choose some darker color like this. And also the second color will be brighter color like the color from the smoke right there in the back. So I will start with the darker color and just do the basic shape of this smoke, right? This is cool. And then I will go switch to lighter color and just build, build up because the light is coming from this direction and this here be a lighter part of the smoke all right and also we can play with some colors adding a little bit of color, colors here in the smoke and this is pretty cool also we can go and create concentration adjustment layer clip it to affect only this and colorize the smoke so this is pretty cool as you can see we can do that can colorize it a bit and uh, let me see before and after yeah I like it colorized and also I just want to go there actually right here in the smoke layer and add a little bit more darker parts here and also I can add even more down on the floor like is maybe this color like it's maybe also a shadow there etc so it's it's really cool so this is one part of the shadow I will go here with another dust slash smoke because I want some part of the smoke over the shadow of the monocycle here actually I want this darker part because this part of the image is actually in the shadow this is pretty cool and let me see, I can also go with the hue and saturation adjustment layer and colorize this too. Something like this looks cool. And this is it for now. Okay, you can invest even more time when building a smoke or a dust or whatever to make it a little bit better, but this is pretty decent. So I will stop here. And also now I need to add some kind of a debris. So for debris, Let's go. Debris. I will go again and use my debris brush. I'll go with this one. Actually, I'll go with this one. Yeah, this is cool. And uh, also you can purchase this at my website for just $1. So again, it's your choice. This is one and I will go with another one down actually below the smoke. Because I want to have impression that there are some debris in the smoke right there. Okay, this is perfect. And also I want to blur them. So I will go to filter blur and motion blur where it is. It's right here. So maybe a little bit less. Something like this. Nice. And also this one. Apply the same filter. 
maybe here a little bit more because they're closer to the vehicle and this is pretty good so this is already much better let me show you guys this is without the effects and by just applying some dust smoke and debris it's much much better okay so now let's go and make impression that actually she's she's driving this monocycle really fast to do that all we need to do is to blur the background a little bit i will go in the background duplicate it make a copy with ctrl command j just in case we mess something up go to filter blur and go to radial blur and here i will go to zoom and i'll just try to move this center somewhere here probably maybe you need to try several times to find the center of uh, these lines we are spreading the lines from and i'll press ok let's see this is pretty cool maybe to move it a little bit to the right but this is pretty cool so one more time move it a little bit more to the right and 10 is too much maybe six let's see this looks pretty nice so you can see she's moving so fast this is before this is after she's really driving this really fast through the desert really cool she's probably running from somebody we will add those two helicopters like they are chasing her so this is pretty cool and now what i like to do i like to spice this image a little bit more by adding some dirt on her skin and face etc so again for that i will use my custom made weather brush for weathering things i have fully dedicated tutorial to that topic you can watch it on the link right here i will not go through all the process explaining what i'm doing how i'm doing i mean i will actually fast forward this part but you can watch that tutorial and uh, learn how i did it and also you can purchase my set of brushes on my website all right guys so as you can see this is pretty cool this is without the effect this is with the effect like she is a little bit dirty from the dust and everything and like a mad max scene it's really cool i really like this and uh, now we can do the same thing on the motorcycle that would be cool so i will collapse the model and go here to monocycle and create a new dirt layer and clip it to affect only the motorcycle actually monocycle and i will just go and play with this with the same brushes that i did for for the model and again i will fast forward this part too Alright guys, so this is it. Let me show you before and after. A little bit more effects here and I also want to blur this a little bit with Gaussian Blur. Just to touch maybe 1, 1 1.2 or something like that. And yeah, before and after I really like it. So just to add a little bit more details there. And this is basically it. You can see just by, by adding some kind of effects like uh, dust or debris or some kind of dirt, etc. You will make a really cool really big impact to your image with these small things okay now i will add those two helicopters that are already extracted out of the background so i will just paste them right here and uh, this is it i can position somewhere here also i like to crop the background to something like 16 by 9 because i love this aspect ratio so this is cool and i have uh, helicopters and i have Let's move down a little bit maybe here i have the model and everything and we're pretty much finished with this now it's the time for for a color grading but before we color grade this i want to color correct some layers so i will go here to monocycle let's collapse it let's group this this is dust slash debris debris okay and this is same dust slash debris number two all right and i will go to monocycle go with uh, color balance adjustment layer clip it on fact only this and add a little bit more yellow and reddish just a bit let me see before and after okay perfect just a bit and also i will go to the model and do the same just clip this oops Let's go right here, clip it, affect only the model, but this is too much. 
this is pretty cool. Also, what we can do, we can make this uh, tire of the motorcycle uh, to, to make the effect like it's really sp spinning. So to add a little bit of the blur and I will show you that how you can do it. One of the ways how you can do it is just to go and make a copy of these two layers. I will collapse everything into one with control command E and I will go with this smudge tool and just go and slowly smudge it on down like this and it's already blurred and we have impression that this is actually rotating. Also, I can add a layer mask black and just with the white and with regular soft round brush, I will reveal just this part that I painted actually that I blurred. So this is pretty cool. Let's collapse this and everything looks pretty nice. Also, we can we can spend even more time here and improve much more things and we can add even more shadows from the dust here so something like something like this in the multiply blending mode and and uh, let's use this brush and like add maybe 10 percent opacity or something like a shadow right here and lower the opacity a little bit but we can go with this maybe even one hour or so more tweaking those small details but this is pretty cool for me now i will go and uh, go to the most top player press shift control alt or shift command option e on a mac and merge everything into one layer so now i will go to filter and my favorite camera filter to do a final color grading here i will go boost the contrast a little bit open the shadows a little bit add a texture and a clarity okay Add a little bit of warmth and lower the saturation and a little bit increase the vibrance. Then I will go and just add the vignetting because with that you will concentrate the viewer's attention more in the middle of the image. Also, I will go and calibrate the colors. I will go more towards the orange and teal look because I like it. So this is pretty cool then i will go to split toning and add a little bit more yellow in the shadows and also a little bit more yellows in the highlights similar like uh, mad max mad max scene movie this is similar color grading also i will go right here saturation maybe lower just a bit saturation or no i, I don't know maybe not hue let's see it's pretty good I can go to sharpening and sharpen this a little bit like that let's see this is pretty cool and uh, that's it maybe a little bit more blacks just a touch and let me see before and after pretty cool difference before and after I will press OK and we are done with this. This is our final image for today's tutorial. Mad Max scene, you can add some letters, you can do whatever you want. So a lot of possibilities, but it's really, really cool. Right guys, I'm pretty happy how this turned out. And of course we can spend even more time tweaking more details and adding more elements to the scene and whatever, but I'm pretty happy with the result. And I hope that this tutorial inspired you to create something on your own, to create something cool like this maybe some Mad Max or some other movie scene on your own and have a lot of fun doing it because that's the point of these tutorials to teach you how to do things and then you having fun doing things like this on your own. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description and uh, you will get some things in return. For example, this PSD file and other PSD files that I did for my previous photo manipulations that will help you to learn things more easier and to go through my layers uh, while watching the tutorial, etc. If you like this episode, if you appreciate this content, just press the like button down below, share it with your friends so more people can know about this channel and this cool photo manipulation tutorials that I'm teaching you guys. And also guys, if you're new here, consider subscribing and ring that bell to get notified about all the future content. And also go and uh, check out the Skillshare. You have two months completely free, so you don't have anything to lose there. Right guys, have fun experiment and see you in my next fun tutorial. 
Tchau.